Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect. Okay, first make a document, create, and then delete the background. Let's add a new layer and delete the background. So in this layer, let's go to brushes and select this hard round and make sure it's 30 pixels. Go to brush settings and in the shape dynamics, make sure pen pressure is on and then go to brush tip shape and put it 1% spacing and 30 size and then get the pen tool and draw let's zoom out let's draw a curve and in this curve right click on it stroke path and click on simulate pressure and put here the tool brush okay and you will have this curve so press delete to remove the pen tool path and then select this one here and hold alt and just copy it and then edit transform flip horizontal and stick them to one another and then get the pen tool and draw a line in between them right click stroke path and the same thing and then delete and then just stick them to one another Okay, so when you have this, go to edit and define brush preset and let's name it fur, fur1. Okay, so now you have this. Okay, so let's go to the file and in this file you can see I have three layers. So a layer of text, let's double click on it and you can see I use semi condensed ultra black which is this one semi-condensed ultra black and then after that I have another layer which is layer 0 it's a picture the link of this picture is gonna be in the description below you can download it anytime and I have some effects I turned it off just for now I'm gonna show you later and I have a background white gradient you can put whatever background you want I chose a white gradient and let's continue now hold control and press on the box of fur and you will have a selection and then turn it off and you will have only the selection then go to the layer 0 and press on mask and you will have this mask so now let's go to brushes and this is fur 1 which we made earlier so let's click on brush settings and in the brush tip shape just put the spacing 1% and the size put it at 200 and in the shape dynamics let's first increase the angle jitter to 100% you can see now they're angular they're in many many uh, directions and the roundness jitter increase it to 100 and the size jitter increase it to 100 so now there's lots of fur in one click so let's go to the scattering and increase the count of scattering to 8 and now you can see it's very very crowded and that's what we want and now put on transfer and put it 100% opacity jitter and I think we're done here. Let's check. Okay, everything's done. So now let's go to the fur mask and hold control and press and you'll have a selection back. So now you can either choose the white or the black. So if you choose the white, you can... Let's first go to the marque tool, this one here, and right click and make work path and put tolerance 1 pixels and then get the pen tool. And now if we choose white background, we can right click stroke path and okay and you can see the fur is outside the selection so let's go back and put it on black right click stroke path okay and now it's inside the selection so I would prefer to choose the white which is outside the selection but it's your choice I'm gonna put it back to black uh, to white right click stroke path and okay And you can see we're, we're done and now what you can do is you can get the brush and fix any mistakes so you have here a very small circle in the R so what you can do is you can while you're on the black you can actually enlarge it and maybe enlarge this part as well 
Okay, this looks better. So now let's put the effects. And you can see it added some shadows and it added some dark on the edges. So let's go into the effects and let's stir them off. First I added an inner shadow. And you can see in the inner shadow I put it on soft light. The opacity is 100, distance I put it on 59. It depends on your work, you can increase and decrease the distance. And the size you can also choose whatever you want depending on the work you're having. So 147 works for me. And then I added a drop shadow. And the drop shadow I added a brown because I'm using a brown uh, fur. And I put the distance 87 and the size 59. It depends on your work as well. I think this fits my work. And then, okay. And now we can press Ctrl J to copy it. And this copy, let's edit, transform, flip vertical. And let's place it underneath the main one and push it downward like this okay and then create a layer and this layer create a rectangle from the rectangle tool and remove the stroke and the fill choose a gradient and the gradient let's put it both white and the one on the top here Let's click on this one here and put the opacity on zero. And you can see it's like a nice. Let's enlarge it slightly. So now it looks like a nice reflection. You can also click on this one here and just decrease the opacity slightly. And this looks fine. And we're done.